Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make these pair of socks. They're all done a crochet. They're very easy to make. They're very warm and comfortable. Any beginner can make them. And the size that I made mine is for a size 9. So you can make them for a smaller size or a bigger size. So here's the list of material you're going to need to make. Them. To make this pair of socks, the yarn I'm going to use is Premier from Deborah Norbell collection. Everyday soft worsen, anti-peeling. And uh, the color is bind yarn, it's 100% acrylic, it's medium 4, and I have 100 grams in each ball, and you're going to need two of them. The crochet hook that I'm going to use is 3.75 millimeter or US F5. You're going to need two markers, tapestry needle, and scissors. To start, I'm going to do a magic circle. And to do the magic circle, I'm going to wrap the yarn around my finger like this. Cross it in the front, pass it through the back. I'm gonna pass the crochet hook under the first loop, pulling the second through, doing a little bit of twist. I'm gonna take my finger out, and now I'm gonna chain one, and that's the magic circle. I'm gonna do another one, and I have there my first half double crochet of 12. So now I have to do 11 more. In the magic circle, like this. Always grabbing these two strands of yarn there. I'll continue off camera until I have my 12 half double crochet. Here I have my 12 half double crochet. I'm gonna pull that tail to close that circle. And now I'm gonna come here where I did my two. Uh, chain and then the top one I'm gonna do a slip stitch and like that you're gonna finish row number one here we want the the button of the seam to be a straight each time we finish a row this is the seam that you will have here and we want this to be nice and straight so now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that Normally we will continue all the way around for the next row, but what we're going to do is chain two, and that counts as the first half of the crochet, and we're going to turn our work around. And now in the next space, we're going to do two together. One separate, and two together. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around, and we're going to finish here with a slip stitch. Here I'm going to finish my second row, and I'm going to do slip stitch in the second chain. And here in this row, I have 18 half double crochet. For row number 3, we're going to chain 2, turn our work around, and we have our first half double crochet, and now we're going to do another half double crochet in the next space. It's right beside that one and now two together in the same space. Two separate, one in this one, and one in the next one, and two together in the next one. That's two and two. Like that you're going to continue all the way to the end and you're going to finish with a slip stitch. Here I'm going to finish with a slip stitch and the second chain, and in row number Three, we have 24 half double crochet. For row number four and the last one of the increases, you're gonna chain two, turn your work around, and you're gonna do this time five half double crochet and two together. So that was one, two, three, four, and five half double crochet and two together. Again, one, two, three, four, and five, and two together. Like that you're going to continue all the way to the end and you'll finish with a slip stitch and the second chain here. Here I'm going to finish row number 4 with my slip stitch. 
and this is big enough for the size that I want my socks. Um, the one that I'm making is size 9, 10. So if you want a bigger, you can use a crochet hook of 4 millimeter. I don't recommend to do more increases. Just use a bigger hook. If you want a smaller, I recommend to use a 3 millimeter crochet hook. But if you want, this is my first pair of socks, so I don't know exactly how many increase or decrease or uh, you have to do for different sizes. But what I recommend if you want a little smaller, just do 24 half double crochet. When you are in the row number 3, with those 24, don't do any more increase. And if you want a smaller, when you are in 18, you can do it just with those 18. So that's what I recommend. For row number five, we're gonna chain two, turn our work around, and now we're gonna do half a double crochet in each space, and we'll have those 28 from now on until uh, you get to this part here. I'm gonna do 18 row for mine, but uh, you can be maybe 15 or 16, 17, 14. You will try it on as you go. And that way you'll know um, the length that you want to give to this piece. This is into the top of your foot, where the, your foot uh, leg will go up, and you heel, okay, until there. So it's 28 half double crochet in every single row. When I finish here, row number five, I will show you row number six, and then from there you'll work by yourself. For row number six, I'm going to chain two, turn my work around, and I'm going to do my 28 half double crochet until I have my 18 row, and this is number six. So I'm going to continue like that off camera until I have the desired length. You'll do yours as long as you like. Remember, mine is for size 9, 10. And I wanted to show you how it's looking so far, and by working one row one way and the other on the other way, you see, it's a straight seam. You don't see it a lot here, and it's more of my favor because you don't want to see the seam, but it's a straight seam here, nice and straight, no on an angle. And something else that I wanted to show you is, you see, this is one row here and this is another one. Usually it will be one big one and one smaller because we go inside out and outside in working the rows so between here and here is two rows there one big one and a smaller one just wanted to mention that that way when you count you make sure that you are counting the two rows here I finish with the chain one now I'm gonna cut the yarn and I'm gonna start working on the heel of the socks and this is what I've done so far and if you look it's nice and straight the seam and this part is the part that define the length of the socks remember if you have a smaller feet you just have to do last row and here is where, where we'll start the, the heel and the top part of the socks so this is the part that you have to measure for the length that you want to give to your socks. Here in row number 18, I finished, cut the yarn. I'm going to pull the tail through, and now we're going to work on the heel. Here I have my markers, and we're going to count. Here is the stitch where I did my slip stitch here. I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the next one, that is number 10, I'm going to put my marker, I'm going to come back here, and then I'm going to count the one, you see, I count that one, the first one that way, and then I count this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and in the one that's number 10, I place the marker. So between each marker, counting where the marker is, and this one here, you'll have 10 stitches, and 9 here, and 9 on the other side, that is 18, for a total of 28. Now we're going to do a slip knot. And 
and we're gonna come here to the one before the marker that was number nine and we're gonna pass our loop now I'm gonna chain two one and two and that counts as the first half double crochet now we're gonna do one half double crochet in each space for a total of 18 and at the same time I'm losing the tail like that you're gonna work until the one before the marker this tail that we have here for when we cut here I'm gonna lose it as I did this one here that I'm at the end that one there is the one from here and so this one I will lose as I go here I have my 18 half double crochet I'm gonna chain two turn my work around and I'm gonna do again my 18 half double crochet for mine I gave a row so I this is row number two I had to do six more and remember this is the length that you're gonna give to your the heel of the sock so you have to try it on as you work you don't want it too loose but neither too tight you don't want to pull it too much or either leave it too big so I'll meet you here when I have my a row here I'm gonna do the last one and you'll have this one here and then the two chain you're gonna do it on top of the two chains and that will give you a straight work you're gonna chain two turn your work around and the, first, the second half uh, double crochet is in this first open here in the hole that way you have a straight work in here and in the other end here I finish with the part of the heel and you'll go, you see it's exactly the same as the one underneath they're both the same and you're gonna end with your piece like this and if you want, if you have a bigger foot you can do this uh, 9, 10 row for mine it's just 8 now we're going to close this here. I recommend to bring your socks inside out and lose that tail here and lose all these tails and this one here on the heel I'm going to sew it to here like this that will give me more round uh, heel here in the back by sewing it here. So we'll do that and then we'll continue with the sock. Now we're going to work in this part of the sock, so I'm going to do slip knot. And I'm going to come here. And I'm going to pass my yarn. I'm going to chain one and two, and that's my first half double crochet. And remember, in this side of the heel we have nine. Um, we took nine stitches so we're gonna do nine here we're gonna do ten in here and nine in the other side for a total of or 28 stitches so I'm losing the tail at the same time And nine like that and then now I have to do my ten and here and nine and the other side and I will have my 28 and then you're gonna do exactly the same as you did here that way it is, it is straight seam you're gonna come here go one way and then turn around the other way like that you're gonna work for 11 row or the length that you want, maybe you want a shorter socks so or a longer mine I did 11 row and then the row number 12 was double crochet so I'll show you when I get there, so continue working 
to give your socks the length that you want. Here I'm going to finish this row with my slip stitch, like that. I'm going to chain two and turn my work around and I'm going to do those 28 like this. When I have my 28, I'll finish here with a slip stitch and then the next row will be working the other way and then like that, back and forth. Here I finished row number 11 and that is the length that I want before I start with the little uh, cut here, this part on the top. So what I'm going to do is chain 3. And this time I'm not going to turn around and backwards, I'm just going to continue. And now I'm going to do those 28, but double crochet. So it'll be one double crochet and top of each half double crochet for a total of 28. Here I finished my 28 double crochet. I'm going to chain three and count as the first double crochet. Now I'm going to do the next one behind the post. And the next one just on top of the post, just on top. The next one behind the post. And the next one just in top like that, inside the post. And like that you're going to continue all the way around. And it will look like this. Here I'm going to finish with a slip stitch on my third chain. And for mine I did four row. This is the end of the second so you have to do two more. I'm going to do mine off camera and uh, when you finish you just cut your yarn and lose that tail. And it's the third row, chain three, and that's on top of that stitch. The next one will be behind the post. And this one just right on top. The next one behind. And like that you're going to continue this row. You see? Here I finished the fourth row. Now I'm going to chain one, cut the yarn, lose the tail, and I will show you the end result. Well, here is the end result, and I just love the color of these socks. And they're very comfortable and warm. Uh, this is the amount of yarn that you're going to have left over on each ball of yarn. So it's not enough to make a pair from one of these, except if you're making a small pair, you will have enough with one. So, well, I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and have a beautiful day. Bye.